Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to use wildcard criteria when using the filter function. Now I'm going to look at contains criteria, begins with criteria, ends with criteria, and also criteria where you're specifying that a certain character must be in a certain position within a text string. Now with all these examples, the data is actually in a table and that's where I've used insert table. And in this first example, I've given the table a name called transactions. And that will just make it a lot easier in terms of referring to columns within the table. Okay, so with this first example, I'm looking for the word pan within these product names. So it's a contains criteria. The word pan can be anywhere, beginning, middle or end. Now I'm going to have to use a number of functions to achieve this. And the first function is search. And what search does is find the position of a text string within another text string. So my find text is pan, comma, within text, the product column. So all I need to do is place my mouse pointer in the column heading. I get a little black arrow pointing down. I click and it selects that column. So find text is pan, within text is the column. Start number is non-mandatory. I don't need to use this in this example. So I close the bracket and press enter. So you can see that wherever it finds pan, it now returns the position of pan within the text string. Now the position I'm not interested in, but the fact that search has returned a number is useful. It tells me that pan is somewhere in that text string. So if I then use is number, is number will return true if the value, which is our search function, returns a numeric result. So if I close the bracket at the end and press enter and now have my trues and my falses, that's my logical test. I can put that within filter. The array is the data set that I want to filter. So all I need to do is click it up in the top left hand corner of my data set, comma. Include is returned by this formula here, our logical test. All I need to do is close the bracket at the end to close the filter function, press enter, and I get the pan products returned in my list, you also see that I get things like panettone. So wherever pan appears somewhere within the text string, it returns the result. Okay, let's look at begins with. So I only want to return products that have M and S at the beginning of the product name. And again, I'm going to use various functions to achieve this. The first function I'm going to use is len. Len returns the length of a text string. So I'm going to return the length of the text string of my criteria. So that gives me three, obviously. Then I'm going to use left. And what I want to do is return the first three characters from each of my product names. So my text is the product column, comma. And the number of characters that I want to return is the same as the number of characters of my criteria. So if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see I get the first three characters of each of these product names. Now, what I want to do is test whether those first three characters are equal to my criteria. And then I get my trues and my falses. So I have my logical test. So then I can put this within filter. My array is the data set I wish to filter. And then I'm going to close the bracket at the end, press enter, and I get those MS products. Now, the benefit of this method is if I change this criteria to J Oliver, it will then automatically change the number of characters that are returned by the left function, because I'm always measuring the number of characters I want to return by the length of this criteria text string. So you can see that that then works. I get all the J Oliver products. Okay, let's look at ends with works in a similar way. We start with len. There's my criteria, anything that ends in pan. 
three characters, but this time I'm going to use right to return the rightmost characters within the text string. So my text is this product column, and I'm returning the number of characters that are in the criteria text string. Then I need to say, does that equal my criteria? And I get my trues and my falses. Then I put this within the filter function. This is my array. That's my criteria, the include criteria. Close the bracket at the end, press enter. I get anything that ends in pan. Right, last example. So in this example, I want to return any product IDs where the fifth, sixth, and seventh characters are A, B, and C. Now, I'm going to start with the len function to capture the number of characters in the criteria text string. Then I'm going to use the mid function. So mid is used to return characters from a text string where you can specify a start number, so your starting position and the number of characters you want to return. So my text is the product ID column, comma. The start number is specified here. And the number of characters I want to return is calculated here using the len function. So if I close the bracket, press enter, those are the characters in the fifth, sixth, and seventh position within all of these text strings. So I only want to return products where I get ABC as a result of this formula. So I'm going to create a logical test that says, does this equal the criteria that I'm holding in H2? So there's my trues and my falses. So then I can put this in the filter function. The array is the data set that I'm filtering, comma, and then I just need to close the bracket at the end. Now, what if I wanted to exclude this product here? So I only want to include products that end in a C. So I've got two criteria then. How do we do that? So the fifth, sixth, and seventh characters need to be A, B, C, but the last character needs to be C. So I'll deal with this criteria first. So we'd use the len function first to find the length of our criteria text string, which is one character. Then I would use the write function to return that number of characters from each of our product IDs. So that's returning the last character in each of these product IDs. And I need to test whether that character is equal to our criteria. And I get my trues and my falses. Then I put this within the filter function. My array is the data set, comma, and include is returned by my logical test. So I close the bracket at the end. And you can see now I'm getting all those product IDs that end with a C, but they need to start with ABC. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to go back to our previous formula and I'm going to copy this logical test here. And I'm going to use it in addition to my existing logical test here. Now this is and criteria because we're saying both criteria need to be met. So what we do is we separate the criteria with a multiply symbol. And then I'll paste in the other logical test. And then the only thing you need to do is put each test within brackets. So that's it. All I need to do is press enter. And now you can see it reduces to those two results that I was after. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.